Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome to my channel I am Miss Madiha's channel Before we proceed, please uh, show me your support By clicking subscribe and share With um, those you think can benefit from my channel So let's proceed For this week, English Year 3 We are going to learn on unit one welcome but we want to go more in depth about telling the time and telling about what someone can or can't do but still before we proceed so before we proceed i'm going to give you the overview of our lesson today so first we're going to uh learn on how to tell the time and then we're going to learn on telling what someone can or can't do and then we're going to have a little bit of practice for the language use as well as i'm going to explain to you on the worksheets that you have to complete at the end of the lesson so first to tell the time uh, let us recall by looking at this watch uh, just ignore the pointers there. We focus on the numbers. So, it's 1 o'clock. It's 2 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock. It's 4 o'clock. It's 5 o'clock. It's 6 o'clock. It's 7 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. It's 9 o'clock, it's 10 o'clock, it's 11 o'clock, it's 12 o'clock. So we have a bit of recall on how to say these numbers in a proper sentence of how you want to tell the time. So what makes it different this time? This time around, you're going to add on this language here, which is half past three. So how is it half? One hour is equal to 60 minutes. Sorry, I use a shorter version. So half an hour is equal to 30 minutes right it's equal to 30 minutes so small here and that makes the longer pointer shows 30 minutes and the shorter pointer shows three therefore it's half past three so you say the half past first so it's half past three that's a new item of the language that you learned today. And if you want to ask someone, what time is it? What time is it? What time is it? And if that someone actually refers to these, then it's going to say it's three o'clock. All right. So it's very simple. So let's move on to our practice on telling the time. So if someone asks you, what time is it? Hmm, look at the watch. What time is it? That's right, it's one o'clock. What about this? Look at the watch. That's right, it's twelve o'clock. This is quite easy, but this is harder. That's right. It half past 11. Very good. Almost the same with number 3. That's right. It's half past 9. You're good to go. So we move on to telling what someone can or can't do. When someone starts a conversation, I can do karate. Can you do karate? And if that person that you are asking actually can do karate, they can answer something like this. 
Yes, I can. But if that person cannot do karate, so they will answer somewhat, no, I can't. So let us look at this table. This part here, this part here is the first part of the conversation. This part here, the question, is the second part of the conversation. And this part here is the third part of the answer. Whether someone can or can't do something. And if you can see, this person, I can die. Can you die? And if that person actually can die, yes, I can. If that person cannot die, no, I can't. Okay, let's look at another example if we change this. He can dive. Can you dive? So he is telling someone that a boy, another boy, can dive. But asking the person that he is talking to whether that person also can dive. So can you dive? So now the person shall answer to him or the person who asked the question. So if he can, then he will say something like, yes, I can. If he can't, he will answer, no, I can't. Okay, so you just have to follow to this table and practice the language so that it will come out very natural from you guys. So let us practice the use of the language. Let's read about Sam. This is my friend Sam. He loves swimming. He can swim very well. He can dive too. So this person is saying Sam can swim. Can he dive? What do you think? From your reading. That's right. Yes, he can. Because he can swim very well and he can dive. So here's the clue. So if you are referring to the table, because he talked about Sam, so he say he can swim. Can he die? So he can. So this person is saying, yes, he can. Because Sam is a boy. So if the girl, then you have to change it. All right. And now I shall explain to you about the worksheets that you are going to do. So... You are going to work on Module PBD English Year 3. You're going to have to complete three pages. I'm going to tell that later. But once completed that three pages, I'd like you to snap them and upload all three at once on our English Telegram group. And also you have to write your full name upon uploading your work. This is for your work not to be interjected with other people's work. So it will come up like one set and one set. And we've seen that we did it already. So these are the tasks on telling the time. So I have to separate these to you because I'd like to explain to you. This is page four and this is page nine. For page four, you have to look at the watch here. You have to look at the watch here and complete the task, okay? So there will be a question and you are going to look at the watch and you are going to write the sentence here. And some you have to write the question and also the answer following the watch that you've seen. So once you complete it, 
is good already. So for page 9, you have to listen and number the box following the audio that I'm going to give to you in our telegram group. So refer to that and complete this, alright? So next is the task on telling someone can or can't do something. So you have to do page 8, you have to read the sentences and label the pictures correctly. So here is the sentences that you have to read and you have to label it here and the sentences you have to write them in the bubble here. Alright, and the sentences you have to write them in the bubble here. So I hope this explanation is rich enough for you to 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 help you to complete this work. And before I end, I hope uh, my explanation is is sufficient for you to to learn the language item for this week for this lesson and before we actually finish i hope you please click uh subscribe on my channel and thank you so much for your support i will be waiting for your work because i'm happy to give me uh, to give my feedback to you guys all right have a good day assalamualaikum